Hello friends, today in this video I will show you how to find database name in a SQL Server. So what I'll do, I'll just navigate to uh, SQL Server Management Studio where I will show you multiple approaches uh, to uh, do this. Okay, now let me go there. Now you can able to see I have already logged into my SQL Server Management Studio. And uh, so now to see the database name, what you can do, you can use the SQL Server Management De uh, Studio design approach as a fast approach. Okay, so for that, what you can do, the fast approach is you can expand this databases folder and then you will see here system databases and all the database that you have created here you can able to see for me these are the four databases i have created and this is the system databases which contains master model msdb and tempdb etc so these are the list of uh, all the database name i have just expand this database uh, folder and then you will see all the databases over here so this is the first approach now the second approach is you can also use you can also use a query to you know retrieve the details of the uh, database okay now how to do that i have already written a query in a notepad because if i start writing it it will take more time so i have written it in a notepad i will just copy that query from the uh, notepad let me just copy that so this is the query i will just copy it paste it here so we are trying to uh, retrieve the database name details from sys.databases okay so this is the second approach guys you can use sys.database you can query to the sys.databases uh, to get the uh, list of database name you have right the list of databases that you have created so now if i'll execute this query you can able to see we got the expected output so that gives us complete list of databases name right including the system database as well as the custom database that you have created by yourself now if you want to get only the list of databases that you have created that means if you want to avoid the list of uh, system databases what you can do you can add a where condition here a where database underscore id you can able to see it here right uh, is greater than four so if i'll add this condition if i'll add and execute this condition you can able to see now we have the list of database the custom database that we have created and we are not now not able to see the list of system databases right so these are the two ways either you can add this where condition to uh, get the list of custom databases and if you want the complete list of database name you can just avoid this where condition you can remove it and execute the query right so this is the second approach guys now the third approach is we can also use a stored procedure uh, to get the details of the uh, you know database name all the database that you have created and the name of the stored procedure is hp underscore databases okay now the third approach is we can execute the sp underscore databases stored procedure to get the list of databases that we have created here right so what you need to do i will say execute sp underscore databases you can able to see it here right so let me just execute this uh, here you can able to see we got the database name including the system database everything right all the database name we got and including that we got the database size as well so basically when you have a requirement to get the name of all the database including the size this is the best approach approach guys you can utilize just execute the sp underscore database stored procedure so this is the third approach so the fourth approach is we can call db underscore name function to get the current database name right 
suppose whatever da database we are working on or the selected database here in this case it is test right so that it will give you so what you need to type select db db underscore name this is a function as as current database right current database semicolon so what it will do it will uh, give you the result that you are working on as the current database right the selected database basically if i'll execute this you can able to see current database is test now if i will change it to master say and i will execute this again it will give me uh, the current database as master okay so these are the four approaches that you can utilize to get the database name in sql server that's it for today i thought to quickly show you how to retrieve the name of the databases that you have created in your sql server database right and these are the approaches you can utilize to do that thanks a lot for watching this video if you found this video a little helpful for you kindly subscribe to our channel to support us so that you will get a lot of free sql server tips and many more thanks a lot and have a nice day bye bye